All right, here we go. All right, Bill, one of my best friends has been going to church for years, and previously it has never bothered me at all. Oh, Jesus. Um, I grew up... <laughs> <laughs> I grew up Catholic, and like so many Catholics, I got raped. No, kidding. I no longer, I no longer attend church, but it doesn't bother me in the least if someone else wants to go. This guy is the exact mindset that I am, except I make fun of people who go to church a little bit. A little bit. Uh, a few months ago, my friend started asking me if I would like to go to church with him. Gay. Uh, I politely, Bill. I politely declared that that's that's a gay thing to do, and I don't mean I don't mean. Yeah. How is it gay to ask someone to go to church with you? Because you're both going to be wearing sweaters. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to be singing songs. You are the most Hallelujah. ridiculous person. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. You want to sit there and sing with your fucking friend wearing a sweater? And then, then the priest up there, who God knows what he did, is going to be like, he had a beard and some long hair and he cured a leper. None of you guys can do that, so you better give us some money. Hallelujah. <laughs> Yeah. You are not making fun of mass right now. It's not sacred to you. It's nothing uh, uh, yes. sacred. There are some things that are sacred. Like what? Not none of that horse shit. That oogly boogly. <laughs> it's not. It's not oogly boogly. It's a hymn. Well, it's like a call and response. I'll tell you what's anyway, sacred. I'll finish, tell you what's fucking you sacred. The you asked a question. question. Now you're getting the answer, toots. I'll tell you what's <laughs> sacred. What's sacred is how you go out in the playoffs. The Celtics went out with heart. We still lost our fucking... We still got our oh, asses Jesus. kicked. We still got our asses kicked. <laughs> we still got our asses kicked. All right? But there was no quit in that team. All right? Okay. That's fucking sacred. What's sacrilegious is what the fucking Lakers did. And I'm not disrespecting the franchise. I'm saying what the couple of those... And it wasn't all of them. What the, uh, It was really what Bynum did. I didn't even think what Odom did was bad. All right. Can you just finish reading the, the question? Jesus Christ. Really? All of a sudden you're dictating it? You ask me why. So he wants to go to church with me, with him. I repeat, gay. I politely decline. Dude, I'm not doing that shit. Um, Stop since then- filling in the blanks with your own commentary. <laughs> why? That not, that's not a part of the letter because you're presenting it in a biased fashion. Just read it and then give your opinion. You see this shit? This is a classic <laughs> fucking broad. It's like I've been doing this oh shit God. for four years and you're telling me how to run it. Yeah, you have no idea how many moron guys are going to send in hate mail because of that. Because not because you're a jerk, because some other. Well, they're morons, shit. so I don't oh, give a shit. Jesus, the fucking elitist attitude. Um, since then, my friend has told me he feels it's his mission to spread the word of God. Stop saying it like that. Hallelujah. <laughs> and continues to ask me to go. They got to. He drank the fucking Kool-Aid. Now he's a zombie. And as time passes, he's getting more aggressive with his sales pitch. Hmm. That means he's probably reaching out and, like, touching his hand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what started off with him just slipping it into casual conversation is loud. now led me to receiving text messages that say the following. This means more to you. This means more to me than you know. God has poured out love to me, and he is reaching out to you also. Ignore if you must, but there is a lot at stake here. Wow. Yeah, no. He, That's he, a little unjust. Yeah, he's buying into that. Jesus is coming back, okay. and this time, he's not fucking around. <laughs> this time, it's personal. Yeah. He, okay, so. So he's buying into the rapture. Yes, I get it. That so this hippie is, he... is going to come back on a stegosaurus and just start... <laughs> Killing people. Killing Tyr people. What they, say, what they say is fucking wrong. He's going to come back. Wrath, one of the deadly sins. Judges, judgment is mine, saith the Lord. He's the son. He's the Donald Trump. He's got the fuck. He's got a comb over at this point <laughs> coming out of heaven. He didn't make that money. He didn't make the fucking world. He's just a loud jackass. Hey, fuck. Fuck. You know, whatever. Cast me into the, the fucking pits. I don't give a shit. You know, you think I want to hang out with you in heaven <laughs> forever? Just go, isn't this awesome? Yeah, it is awesome. Can you please finish the letter? All right. What started off? Okay, so here we go. Uh, to be uh, to this, I, I replied, honestly, it's it. If it's my choice, I don't want to go. Please stop asking me about it. I don't know how many more ways I can request that. There you go. Okay. He responded with, I'll hold off, but know this. God loves you. 
and will not quit if I do. Okay, well then, there's no reason to hit me two times. Let's just let God do it, all right? Anyways, here comes my question, Bill. Why does this fucking piss me off so much? Why do these, why do these cults do... Uh, what do these cults do to these people? He's involved with a church that people do joke around with and call a cult. What would you do if you were me? At this point, I don't even want to talk to this guy because these conversations are infuriating me. Um, yeah, I would, I would cut this guy out of your life. I, yeah, it's, it, it's, it's annoying. This is That's what I, why you feel that way. No, but this really, is his friend. really annoying but this that is he's his doing friend. it. This yeah, is his know, friend, and, he, and he, wa- he wants to get him out of the cult. So the thing is, is if you go to him and you try to get him out of it, you're just going to drive him further into it. So what you do is just say, you just stop being friends with him. You know, and hope that that'll help because they're not going to go out of that. Then he's not going to leave it if you ask him to leave it. Yeah, he's I don't done. know. You never, you never know. But yeah, he needs to just cut him out because yeah, there's no you can't it, unless he wants to spend the rest of his time with this guy debating Catholicism or whatever, which I'm sure he doesn't want to do. Then yeah, he should just cut him off. Personally, I would still hang out with him. You would just so you could get into debates with him. No, and I, I would just do unbelievably satanic and (laughs) annoying shit that's a good idea i would i would maybe you should do that i would always have like shout at the devil playing you know or maybe just that beginning cheesy thing you should invite him to you should invite him into a restaurant and it turns out to be like a strip club and see what he does yeah but you're gonna see the titties on the outside gentleman's club that's true no i wouldn't do that shit i would just i would hang out with him and hang out with i would keep saying that i want to get involved in the church and I would keep going to events. And as they were going, you know, I just feel so filled up with God's love. I would then be like, oh, you want to talk about filled up? I fucking jerked off into this chick's mouth last oh, night. I'm telling you. William Burr. She had a big bass mouth. And I don't know, maybe it was a couple of days since the last time I fucking, you know, let them loose. But I right up to the brim. She was a champion. She swallowed. I'm sorry. What were you saying? <laughs> this is why you're going to hell. Oh, why don't you pray for me? I will.